This is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Flint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famers. Mike Van Deese joining us here Jason Media. Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weights. <laughs> they don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal? The Jason Walker Show. Broadcasting from the Major Mortgage Man Cave. Here's Jason Walker. Hey, what up? Happy Tuesday, the Jason Walker Show. We are presented by by Capital Collision Center. Montana State Law says it is your vehicle and it is your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center. Coming up today, Major Mortgage Man Cave, a weekend recap. Also on this day in history, we'll chat with Kyle Mahelish, Capital Football Coach, about their big win, uh, the Bruins, over uh, Butte over the weekend. Also uh, going to check in uh, your Montana Rodeo Roundup, which is presented by Mark LaRoe Photography. Some exciting news coming out of uh, the Montana Pro Rodeo Hall and Wall of Fame. So we'll share that. And also, um, Auto Contest Performance of the Week. So if you have some nominees you'd like to get in, you can, at Jay Walker Sports. On the Twitter, you can uh, call or text 209-1267. And uh, you can also uh, email jason at jasonwalkershow.com. Wearing the glasses today. As you, uh, if you're watching on Facebook or Twitter, or YouTube, or listening on Podbean, Network One Sports, TreasureStateRadio.com, and more. Um, got the glasses on though because uh, had the eye doctor appointment today, just the uh, the normal yearly checkup, and uh, the the dilation deal. It's weird, right? I mean, it's just it's weird. I know. Last week we talked about dentistry, but uh, at least eye doctors aren't putting their fingers in your mouth, but. Um, Still, still crazy, um, but had fun. Get new contacts next year or January, because I, yeah. I also, I think I have to start wearing readers. Anybody else wearing readers? That uh, is a fan of this show. Man, I'm, I've never done it before, so I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to check it out. But anyway, all right. Uh, help you had a good weekend. Did some golf with some buddies. Played uh, golf with my wife as well. Um, our year-end tournament. Uh, it's called the Grind, and it's uh, <laughs> it's challenging, but a lot of fun. So we had a we had a good time. We did not win, but we had fun. So hope you uh, had a good weekend as well. The weather has been gorgeous. A little smoky lately because of uh, the haystack fire blowing back up. But um, man. Enjoy this while we got it. It's supposed to be in the 40s next week. So that's what they say. And overnight lows dipping down below freezing. Yeah. Yay. Fall is here, literally. So uh, let's see here. What else? Oh, Darko Kelly. Zacchaeus Darko Kelly playing in Finland. Congratulations. That's awesome. Great dude. Hell of a basketball player and uh, a really cool dude. So that's cool to see. Uh, went, uh, five and five in predictions. I missed every single frontier game and also missed, uh, the capital game. Um, I, I guess I learned my, don't bet against capital. That defense is legit. We'll talk to coach Mahelish about it coming up, but man, capital pasting Butte, hell in a high hammer and glacier, which was awesome to see as well. If you're a Bengal fan, shut down Jake Rendina. Uh, that Bengals defense is pretty good, too. Um, Jefferson, nice win there. 37 nothing at Three Forks. Townsend with a nice 34-13 to win at Manhattan. Uh, Rocky beat Western. Tech beat Northern. Carroll beat College of Idaho. And Eastern Oregon lost to Southern Oregon. So I went 0-4 on Frontier. 
got my two big sky games, right? The Cats winning big and the Grizz losing at Eastern. And that was a game. I mean, Grizz had a chance to win it. Uh, didn't happen. Uh, I picked Eastern 35-27, and it was 34-28 was the final. So, uh, heck of a game, though. And then the Grizz only fall two spots to six. Eastern jumps two spots to four. But, and then Montana State just quietly being good, you know, in the big sky. And I know they really haven't played anybody yet, but you got to beat whoever's on your schedule, and they're doing that. And that Wyoming loss looking better because Wyoming's undefeated. As uh, it'll be fun to watch the the final month and a half here of uh, the Big Sky season. We have we have playoffs starting in football this month. I mean, can you can you believe that? It's crazy. Volleyball wrapping up too. Congratulations, by the way, to uh, the AA and A winners. Um, for golf, and I was going to bring that up because there's a good chance, well, maybe a good chance that they'll be uh, in there for um, Auto Contest Performance of the Week. So their nominees, those winners, that includes Laurel uh, winning at Polson, which is pretty awesome, State Double A. At Bozeman, you had uh, Gallatin winning it, uh, 581 total. Is that 25 shots better than Glacier? Capital in third. Nice showing there. Jordan Verge winning state. Justice Verge, his brother, losing by four. Joe McGreevy of Capital finished in there in the top five. He was uh, nine shots off the pace. Bless me. A little sneeze out of nowhere. Uh, let's see here. Jack uh, Priggy from Butte, third. Will Salone and Glacier, uh, your top five as well. So nice uh, nice job uh, on the boys' side there. Girls, West High wins it by a lot. Bozeman, second. Gallatin, third. Capital, fourth for team-wise. Bella Johnson of West, no surprise. She won almost everything going in to state. Uh, Cody Hoagland of Butte, second. Kinsey Walsh, a senior, third. Hayden Trost of West, uh, tied for third. And then Ellie Atkins of Bozeman, uh, rounding out your top five. So very, very good golf tournament on the uh, Class AA side. And then in Class A, Laurel, uh, girls winning it. Hamilton second, Livingston third. Hannah Adams of Laurel, number one. Misa Greenwood of Corvallis, two. Katie Lewis of Frenchtown, three. And then Haley Adams of Laurel and Brenna Jensen, or Rihanna Jensen of Laurel, your top five. Boys side, Laurel with the big win. Whitefish, second. Polson, third on its home course. It's a very nice course. Love Polson Bay. Uh, Cameron Hackman of Laurel winning the uh, individual crown. Billy Smith of Whitefish, second. Laurel's Eli Weisenberger in third, Aubrey Kelly of Livingston four, and then um, was it Danik Jacobson of Livingston in fifth. So fun stuff. There's your uh, couple of nominees there for you for uh, your auto concepts performance of the week, which is uh, coming up a little bit later on. We'll crown one. So hope you had a good weekend. I did. It was fun. Hanging out. Get to go to Dillon this weekend. I'll be doing the uh, Southern Oregon you, uh, Montana Western game on SWX Montana. That'll be fun. Phil Willett and I got on the call. It'll be a good game, I think, too. Two uh, pretty good quarterbacks in that one. John Jund, Matt Strzok. And, uh, yeah, defenses are both pretty good, too. Looking forward to it. Uh, so that'll be fun. More on that this week, Thursday. Uh, so I won't call that game. On predictions because I'll be calling the game, so I don't make calls of uh, predictions of games that I'm doing. Does that make sense? <laughs> oh man, hope to hear from uh, from you if you want at Jay Walker Sports on the Twitter. Like I said, you can uh, tweet us at Jay Walker Sports. I just said that. You can also get a hold of us through the Facebook, 
the uh, Twitter and everything. We've got On This Day in History coming up. Your Montana Rodeo Roundup is just around the corner as well. And what else we got? Um, tons of fun. But when we return, we're going to check in and talk capital football. Kyle Mahelish will join us as we uh, try to get our eyes back uh, non-dilated. And that's why we're wearing the glasses if you're just tuning in. But all right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. Kyle Mahelish of Capital joins us next. This is the Jason Walker Show. It's presented by Capital Collision Center. Montana State Law says it is your vehicle. It's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center. New vehicles keep coming, and Capital Collision Center keeps earning certifications to repair them. They're Helena's newest GM-certified facility. No matter the make or year, they repair your car to manufacturer's standards and requirements, maintaining its safety and value. Montana State Law says it's your vehicle, and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center, certified in GM, Subaru, and Nissan, and Helena's only shop certified in Honda, Acura, and Ford. When you value safety, go to Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918. Or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122, equal housing lender. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings, or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm Agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Probably should turn your microphone on. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show. This segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. Make the quality choice for your home at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Uh, My wife was there earlier today, got a new bed for the little one. So, that, uh, I get to put that together at some point this week. Fun stuff, right? Anyway, all right. Uh, <laughs> I was looking. Some stuff fell down over here. I was just looking at it. Didn't know what fell. All right. Well, we'll have to fix that. 
Still to come, your Montana Rodeo Roundup Auto Contest Performance of the Week. Get your nominees in. 406-209-1267. Thank you, Art. I, uh, I'm in a football uh, pool with uh, a couple of great uh, people, including my buddy Art. And I won it this week. I went 11-5. and five. So, yay me. Maybe I get auto contest performance of the week. But probably not. Oh, man. Okay. Montana Rodeo Roundup. Did I mention that's coming up too? Yeah. All right. Uh, the regular season ended in the PRCA last week, so we'll, uh, we'll uh, run down. There's some Montanans in the top 15 heading off to Vegas, which is, will be awesome. So that's on the way. But uh, over the weekend, Friday night, Capitol went down to the Mining City and historic Naranchi Stadium and absolutely clobbered the Butte Bulldogs. Huge 43-3 to win. Big win. It started early and often, and joining us now to uh, talk about that win and look ahead to Hellgate this weekend is the head coach of the Bruins, Kyle Mahelish, and he joins us now on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. All right, Coach, uh, congratulations on a, uh, a huge win, and you guys got it started early and never really let up, but uh, a, a great win on the road. Oh, it was a big road win for us. I mean, they're, they had homecoming, and they're all fired up, ranked third in the country, or third in the country, <laughs> third in the state. Did you play Notre Dame or what? Yeah, that's right. 3-0 and in conference, and, you know, it was a game that the kids wanted, and we talked all week about having a tremendous amount of focus, and, if we want to be anywhere at the end of the year, we got to beat contenders and we got to beat teams that are in the top echelon of the league. And we obviously did that on Friday. Great, great offensive performance, though. And let's start there because uh, your defense has been great all year, but your offense is finally the last few games starting to put some things together. And uh, you got to love that. No, they did a great job. And that's the difference when, you know, when you make plays. I mean, we've had a lot of drop balls, we had some missed assignments up front, uh, not running the right routes. Uh, so there's a, uh, a lot of things that contributed to maybe some of those things offensively, but as we talked, as I talked to him in the locker room afterwards, that's what we could look like if if we get out of our own way. I mean, if we catch balls and block correctly and stay ahead of the chains and don't have holding penalties, and I mean, we have some explosiveness on our team, and it, it showed Friday. Yeah, it definitely did, and uh, just tell me about the growth, or take me through the growth of Joey Michelotti, because what a what an amazing season he's had and it started slow as we talked about but he's gotten just better and better game by game no that comes with confidence and winning a few games and having some success and being able to throw the ball um and he is getting better every week and that's and that takes you know experience and time and you know it's all brand new to joey this is his first first few varsity snaps here in these first six games and you know he's done a great job taking the coaching and he's kind of developed uh a little personality and some kind of taking on a little bit of leadership. And so now I'm happy for Joey and what he's been able to do. Kyle Mahalis joining us, Capital High football coach. All right, the defense, we knew it was going to be good this season. Is it better than you expected? Well, we have a, we still have a long ways to go. I mean, we've, we've had some good weeks uh, defensively, but we got to keep it going. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun to, it's fun to coach that group of young men, uh, all of them, but, you know, defensively, they're, they're a bunch of smart kids, and they get it, and they're good in the film room, and they understand and understand things schematically. And when you coach them, they apply things, and, uh, you know, they, they just do a great job. And they play for each other, which is, which is good to see. Definitely, yeah. And uh, they're going to have another tough test this week. you got Hellgate coming to town, and I know that doesn't look like it on paper, but this is still a very good football team. No, they're scary. Uh, the quarterback, Connor Dick's good. Filardi and Finch are the real deal. They're very good uh, receivers. Uh, they spread them, they, you know, I don't know, they throw the ball. They only, I think they only ran the ball maybe four or five times against Big Sky. So they're chucking the ball, and those kids are athletic, and we'll have our hands full. I mean, we we got to come ready to play. We can't have a letdown. we got to be focused in and ready to roll. You sound like you're mid-season form. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we're a little past. Well, yeah, we are midseason. We're six games in, right? Yeah, yeah. Going on seven. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, but how do you, I mean, with Dick and Filardi, I mean, like you mentioned, these are these are really good athletic kids. What do you throw them at them defensively or just keep it pretty simple? 
Well, no, we're, we have some things for them. I mean, we're going to have to take them away on certain things. And, I mean, they have some tendencies as far as sprint out. And, uh, but we're going to have to we'll, – we'll double them at times. We'll uh, play some what we call sky coverage on them, some deep quarter stuff. Uh, we just can't allow them to uh, – They'll, they'll get their catches. I mean, you, you can't totally keep them all out of it. But uh, they're, they're, they're as good as two receivers in a group that we'll see this year. Yeah, no question about that. Kyle Mahalis joining us, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. A couple final ones for you, but we talk about tradition. Obviously, Capital has got its traditions um, and just, you know, go back a long way. Hellgate has started to get tradition back. And Coach Morris has done a nice job over there. Um, how rewarding is it to see the Double A or see a, a team like Hellgate, for a few years ago didn't even have a football program, and now they're back and competing, you know, at a, at a high level. No, it's good. Coach Morris does a great job. I mean, they they seem to have a run of talent over there. It kind of seems like if he can get those basketball kids, like Connor Dick, out for uh, football, you know, they they're very athletic. Um, no, he does a good job. You know, I, I know he, I talked to him on Sunday and he kind of wishes the numbers were up. We're not going to be able to play a GV, JV game, which hurts. Um, so we're going to have a little JV scrimmage Friday afternoon with ourselves and hopefully we can get after Hellgate and get those ju- junior varsity guys some reps on Friday night. It is a get funky day today. Are you a, are you a funky dude? No, I'm not real funky. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what is what is funky. I don't know. You, it got, just, you got an aura. You got an aura about you, and you just kind of have a plan and know what's going on. I think so. Yeah. I, well, I mean, it's right. yeah. It's also World Teachers Day, so thank you for that. Oh yeah, sure. World Teachers Day. Yeah, we we I had appreciate. A heck of a day today. Had a heck of a day today in history talking about the crossing and George Washington and oh, nice. uh, the American Revolution and the surrender of Yorktown. It was a big day in American history. Yes. Those kids came out a little smarter today. Well, anytime they're getting taught by you, they come out smarter, right? That's right. <laughs> so it they is got a, my A game today. You did, yes. American yeah. Revolution. You can't beat that. I mean, that was uh, American history goes back a long way. That's right. Yes, and you do a nice job with it. So, well, thank you. So, yes, on World Teacher Day, I say congratulations and thank you. Well, thank you. There's a lot of good teachers out there. Definitely are. Uh, Coach, appreciate it. Have fun on Friday night. Get the job done. We'll talk next week. All right. Thank you, Jason. See ya. Kyle Mahelis joining us on the uh, Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. All of our guests appear via the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. And uh, you can get a hold of Mike because it's more than just uh, a bundle. It's your life, your home and auto and uh, life insurance. Uh, He will take care of you. Uh, Mike Miller State Farm in Helena. Uh, so Capital, Hellgate, Friday night, Vigilante, that'll be a fun one. Uh, as the double A, uh, what, three games left in the regular season? And uh, Capital doesn't have to leave town because they're, uh, they've are they got a home game this weekend with Hellgate. I think Sentinel, is it Sentinel next weekend? And then uh, um, cr- uh, Crosstown. So, oh, they are at Sentinel. Sorry, they are at Sentinel. I missed that. So they do have to leave one more time. They have to travel this to, to the Garden City. Uh, let's see. What else did we see? Anything new popping out? No. We got uh, good stuff, man. I'm just enjoying uh, enjoying today being back in the saddle. Um, talking sports. It's always fun. And, of course, uh, getting to talk with uh, football coaches is amazing. Um, speaking of football, and I don't know if you all heard about last week, the Big Fork um, football player who tragically died, uh, suicide. And uh, Big Fork then went to Loyola a couple days later and, and got a big win. But um, no soapbox, but just reach out to people, man. Anybody. Reach out to someone if you are struggling. It's um, it's tough when and I didn't you know I didn't know him, but a lot of a lot of people around the uh, state did, and it's a tough loss uh, anytime. But always reach out, suicide prevention hotline, and uh, or a friend. So, all right, and uh, we won't uh, 
dive too much into that. So just wanted to, uh, to make sure people know to reach out because it's necessary. Hey, let's take a look at the uh, Class AA standings. You've got uh, West at 5-1 and one, along with CMR at 5-1 and one in the East. Both 4-0 in conference play. That'll be a fun game when they, those two hook up. Uh, on the Western side, you've got Sentinel at 3-0, and 5-0 and overall. And then Butte and Capital at 3-1. and Helena High 2-2, two and two, Glacier 2-2, two and two, Hellgate 1-2, and two, Big Sky 1-3, and three, Flathead 0-4, and four, or 0-6 and overall. Um, Hellgate, Big Sky, Flathead combined 4-13. and 13. And then you've got uh, a whole bunch of overall 4-2 and two from Butte, Glacier, and the two Helena schools. On the east, after uh, West and CMR, you go Senior and Bozeman at 3-1 and one in conference play, both 3-3 three and three overall. Great Falls Highs, 2-2 two and two in the league, 2-4 and four overall. Gallatin, winless, along with Skyview and Belgrade in the Eastern Division, and combined 3-15. and 15. So... There's your e, uh, Class AA. Um, we'll have the polls out later. That 406mtsports.com power poll comes out uh, later this afternoon. Um, but in the A, the only unbeatens are Laurel, Hamilton, Polson, and Whitefish. And then in Class B, the uh, unbeatens, Malta, Columbus, Big Fork, and Florence Carlton. In 8-man, 5-0 and o, Culbertson. Fort Benton five and zero, and Sims is six and zero, and then Sheridan and Joliet five and zero and four and zero, and then in the West Thompson Falls, Drummond, Phillipsburg six and zero and five and zero respectively. In six man, Freud Lake unbeaten at six and zero, and Bridger at six and zero, and White Sulphur Springs four and zero. So those are the unbeaten's left. So football season. It's coming to an end, and it seems like it just started, right? Man, it's crazy how fast things go. And you, I was writing down a date today, and I started writing like 9 for September. It's October already. 2021 is going a lot faster than 2020 did, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Even though it doesn't seem like it at times. But. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk uh, Rodeo Roundup. Montana Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame is moving. And... Oh, there's uh, news. Uh, so hold on. Let's see what this is. Uh, Northern Colorado has issued a statement. Uh, says the University of Northern Colorado Athletics in cooperation with Montana State University Athletics and the Big Sky Conference reviewed an incident involving an assistant football coach tossing an object into the stands that inadvertently struck a spectator at the Bears Bobcats football game. After reviewing statements and video of the incident, it was determined that offensive coordinator Max McCaffrey's tossing of a piece of broken clipboard to a fan who requested the souvenir showed a lack of judgment but no malicious intent. Um... There was uh, Director of Athletics Darren Dunn at UNC said, quote, while Coach McCaffrey's tossing of a souvenir into the stand showed poor judgment, it was clear there was no intent to harm, nor was the action fueled by anger. Max is embarrassed by the incident and is working privately to apologize to the fan hit by the errant toss. And uh, after visiting with Max and the entire football staff, I'm confident we will have no further engagement with fans of our opponents. And UNC has officially reprimanded Coach McCaffrey for the incident. Interesting. Um, man. Well, in the Sue Happy world, I'm sure they, they had to cover you know that. But if it's not intentional, oh my gosh. Everybody has to whine about something nowadays, right? All right. Um, all right, take a break. We'll come back. Montana Pro Rodeo uh, Hall of Fame is getting a new home. We'll talk about that and wrap up the regular season for the PRCA. And on this day in history is coming up. And what else we got coming up? Oh, the walk-off. Every day we do that. It is all coming up when we return here on the Jason Walker Show, presented by Capital Collision Center. Come right back. 
Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of The Jason Walker Show. New vehicles keep coming, and Capital Collision Center keeps earning certifications to repair them. They're Helena's newest GM-certified facility. No matter the make or year, they repair your car to manufacturer's standards and requirements, maintaining its safety and value. Montana State Law says it's your vehicle and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center, certified in GM, Subaru, and Nissan, and Helena's only shop certified in Honda, Acura, and Ford. When you value safety, go to Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918. Or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122, equal housing lender. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com Welcome back, Jason Walker Show. Earthcam.com showing us Kiowa Island Golf Camp in South Carolina. Looks a little cloudy, maybe some rain over there. Good waves. And nobody out golfing. At least not on that hole. Huh. We bring you back inside the Major Mortgage Man Cave. On this day in history coming up, we'll tell you what tomorrow's special tea is going to be at Mountain Nutrition as well. Auto Contest Performance of the Week is just around the corner, and uh, Montana Rodeo Roundup coming up as well. So the Montana Pro Rodeo Hall and Wall of Fame is getting a new home. And uh, after the uh, awards and scholarship uh, presentation on Saturday down in Billings, the big news coming from Brent Jordan, the president of the Montana Pro Rodeo Hall and Wall of Fame, said that uh, Whitehall is going to be the future home of the Montana Pro Rodeo Hall and Wall of Fame, a physical 
Hall of Fame, and it will be in Whitehall. They are looking uh, to uh, um, open next year, which would be super awesome. Uh, Jay Linderman, who we've had on a few times, uh, gives all the credit to Jefferson County and says it's been a dream of Jefferson County Commission Chair Leonard Wortman. So, very cool. That's uh, currently at Metro Park, but moving to Whitehall, which makes it closer. And they're going to keep the uh, 18-foot tall bronze statue of Dan Mortensen, six-time world champ, uh, on uh, on T-Box, staying there. So, that's pretty cool. So uh, there you go. Congratulations to, to Jefferson County. That's going to be super cool. And uh, maybe we'll get a chance to go down and do some uh, shows down there. That'd be cool. All right, your Montana Pro Rodeo Roundup continues, brought to you by Mark LaRoe Photography. Visit Mark uh, if you're looking for literally anything. He takes unbelievable photos, and he also does engagement sessions, um, rodeos, he just travels around taking great pictures all over the state and, uh, and elsewhere, but mainly Montana. And uh, we love Mark's work, so check him out. All right, your PRCA standings after the regular season ended on September 30th, last Thursday. Stetson Wright leading the all-around. No surprise there. Uh, Bearback is being led by Tilden Hooper, who's got great hair. Uh, Montanans, Caleb Bennett sitting in fourth as they head into National Finals Rodeo in December. Of course, the regular season for 2022 already underway. Uh, but Richmond champion of uh, Stevensville sitting in seventh overall on the saddle bron- or, uh, bareback side, and that would be it for Montanans. Um, Zach Hibbler is 15th, Taylor Broussard 14, R.C. Landingham 13. Cole Franks, 12. Tanner Ross, 11. Garrett Shadbolt, 10. Oren Larson sits in the 9 hole. Cole Reiner in 8. Jess Pope in 6th. Casey Field, 5th. And then uh, Kayla uh, Clayton Bigelow, 3rd. And Tim O'Connell in 2nd. That's your bareback. On your Saddle Bronx side, Stetson Wright leading the way, followed by Brother Ryder. About 12,000 behind. Brody Cress in third, the Wyoming Cowboy. Dawson Hay, fourth. Zeke Thurston, fifth. Leighton Green, sixth. Chase Brooks of Deer Lodge in seventh. He'll be headed back to uh, Vegas. Colby Wanchuk, eight. Wyatt Casper in nine. And then Ben Anderson, Tegan Smith. Sage Newman of Melstone sits in 12th. Followed by Wade Sundell, Cody Demos, and Spencer Wright. So there'll be three Wrights. At uh, in Vegas, riding the saddle bronc, Uncle Spencer, and then Ryder and, and Stetson. All right, bull riding. Sage Kimsey back on top. Say uh, Stetson right in second. Clay Sellers third. Creek Young fourth. Josh Frost fifth. Jen, and then uh, JB Mooney, Dustin Bouquet, Parker Breading of Edgar in that eight spot. So he gets to go back. That's awesome. Kai Hamilton in 9, Trey Benton 10, and then Braden Richardson in 11. Ruger Piva, former Western Cowboy, sitting in that uh, 12 spot. So he moved up. He had a great final couple of weeks to get into the uh, – he was sitting in 17th, what, three weeks ago and moved all the way up to 12th. So that's awesome. Shane Proctor, 13th, Boudreaux Campbell, 14th, Roscoe Jarbo in 15th. Uh, let's see. Steer Wrestling. Jacob Talley on top, former Bobcat Jess Brown in second. And then it's just a who's who. All right, Dakota Eldridge, Tyler Pearson, Will Loomis, Tyler Wagus Pack, Scott Gunther, Stetson Jorgensen, Stockton Graves, Dirk Tavener from uh, Rigby, Idaho, Cody Devers, Rowdy Parrott, Riley Duval, Tristan Martin, Curtis Cassidy, Ty Erickson, 17th. Oh, man, that's going to be an amazing steer wrestling competition in Vegas. And there's a lot of guys that didn't make it that are just hometown, I mean, uh, well-known names 
That's what I meant to try to try to say. Uh, team roping, heading side, Dustin Egeskiza, number one. Uh, Clay Tryon of Billings in fifth. So he'll be headed back to Vegas on the he- uh, healing side. Uh, Noah Chase Tryon in there. Junior Negetta uh, leading the way. And then Chase Tryon of Helena in eighth. Move to tie down. Shane Hanshi on top. And Haven Medjid of Mile City in 11th. So congratulations, Haven heading back, the 2019 world champ. Breakaway, Haley Kinsel number one. And Lisa Lockhart in 14th. She made it. She was, what, 24th? A few weeks ago, got up on the 14th, so she had a great last month as well. So it would be fun to see her back in Vegas. Good stuff. And then, uh, is that it? I think so. Yep. So congratulations to all of uh, the Montanans heading in. What do we have, seven again? We claim Lisa Lockhart. I mean, come on. We, we're going to claim Ruger Piva, too. He went to Montana Western. So we're going to claim him as well as one of those Montanans. We would claim Jess Brown. He went to Montana State. He's from Oregon. So, of course, we're going to claim him. So It'll be fun. And, of course, <laughs> the PRCA regular season is already at it in 2021-2022. slash uh, We've got the Nile coming up this month down in Billings. And then, of course, the uh, Northern Rodeo Finals will be later this month in Kalispell. So, excellent work. Talk to Lindsey Cruz coming up, too, before the uh, season is over. Uh, or before uh, finals, that's what I was trying to say. Just getting news and notes here, so nothing important right now. All right, uh, your uh, Montana Rodeo Roundup brought to you by Mark LaRoe Photography. Nobody does it better than Mark LaRoe Photography. Check it out at marklarophotography.com. All right, well, the... Uh, what do we got uh, on this day in history? Let's do that now, shall we? It is presented by our uh, good friends over at Mountain Nutrition. And, oh, before we get to on this day in history, how about your auto concepts performance of the week? Holy cow. How can I forget that? Auto concepts. Lift kits. You need a wench for hunting season. Hunting season's coming up. Get in there. Auto concepts is uh, the place to be. And if you want to do anything with your vehicle, because they are the performance enhancement specialist for your vehicle at Auto Concepts. Uh, all right, your Auto Concepts performance of the week had some really good ones. We mentioned all the golfers. Um, congratulations there. There was uh, there were some good scores, good passing, good running. Uh, Caden Hewitt, six more touchdowns for Helena High. Joey Michelotti is on that list as a nominee. Uh, Zach Cruz, a few touchdown passes. Reed Harris with three for Great Falls. Uh, let's see. Jacob Miller's a game winner for senior. He also had three, uh, four touchdowns total on Thursday night. Miles City hammered Livingston. Uh, Dalton Tivitt with uh, three Touchdowns in the first quarter. Uh, let's see. Good, good, good performances. Espen Hostetler from uh, Glendive had three touchdowns as well. Jarrett Wilson, four touchdowns for Polson. He's so good. Uh, Finn Ridgeway with a f- couple of touchdowns. He did it all. Whitefish is Finn Ridgeway. Ready for this? Rushing touchdown, passing touchdown, and return an interception for a touchdown. That's um, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, Levi Taylor, a couple of big touchdowns for Big Fork. Colton Mears for Malta, a couple of touchdowns. Uh, Braden Morris of Jefferson, four touchdown passes. And, uh, yeah. Good stuff there. Three touchdowns for Cooper Cook of Colum- uh, Cooper Cook of Columbus. I think we've got to go back, though. I think we're going to go to Jefferson. We're going to go to the Boulder. 
to the Valley. And we're going to give the auto contest performance of the week to Braden Morris for his four touchdowns, leading the 10th ranked Panthers past the uh, Three Forks Wolves 37 to nothing. Uh, Panthers now 3 and 2 overall, 1 and 1 in uh, B play. Luke Oxerat had uh, three touchdowns. So we'll give it to Braden Morris. He was 15 of 18, 185 yards. And those four touchdown passes. So, Braden Morris, congratulations on being the Auto Concepts Performance of the Week. All right. Uh, now, on this day in history, it is presented by Mountain Nutrition. And tomorrow's special for teas. Well, you can go in and get the Jason Walker Show tea. I love that. It's um, order the Yellowstone. Well, it's lemon, strawberry, and grape put together in a tea, and it's great. So you get 21 vitamins and, and uh, minerals. The teas are like 60 calories, sometimes less. The shakes, a couple hundred calories, but they're a great meal replacement. Um, tomorrow's special at Mountain Nutrition, the Galaxy Tea. It is grape and blue raspberry put together. So that is tomorrow's. Sounds good. Blue raspberry and grape. Go in and see Abby and... Get in there. Auto concept. No, I'm not auto. No, the next auto concepts and BMC right in between. That is what I was trying to say. Mountain Nutrition. And by the way, if you check in, you can go to Facebook or Instagram. It's MTN Nutrition on the Facebook, MTN Nutrition MT on Instagram. And uh, check in with your drink. You get a dollar off. So thank you to uh, them. All right. Uh, today is October the 5th. It is Get Funky Day. It is Do Something Nice Day. It is Eat Fruit at Work Day and World Teachers Day. This day, 1908, White Sox pitcher Ed Walsh beats Detroit his 40th victory of the season. Uh, 1915, Detroit speedster Ty Cobb steals his 96th base of the year. It would stand as a record until 1962 when Maury Wills popped off for 104, and then Vince Coleman... And Ricky Henderson all in there as well. 1932, under new ownership, the Detroit Falcons officially changed their name to the Detroit Red Wings, and the winged wheel is introduced in 1932. Detroit previously, the Falcons and the Cougars. 1949, sports writer Reb Rourke first reports that golfing great Bobby Jones's rare spinal disease, syringa myela, or myelia, uh, would prevent him from playing golf ever again. 1991, Fresno State ties an NCAA football record with 49 points in a quarter. This came in the second quarter. They beat New Mexico that day, 94-17. to 2007, after years of angry denials, triple gold medal winning American sprinter Marion Jones admits she used steroids six years, seven years earlier, pleads guilty to lying under, uh, to federal investigators, and also announces her retirement and returned all of her medals to the U.S. Olympic Committee. Just don't cheat. Marion Jones, Lance Armstrong. Happy birthday today. If you were if you were a hockey fan, this is a good one for you. 1965, two of the all-time greats in hockey were both born in Quebec. One in Montreal, the other in Quebec City. One a prolific scorer, the other a prolific goal stopper. Mario Lemieux and Patrick Waugh. We're both born on this day in 1965. Happy birthday to the two all-time greats and two pretty good dudes. Uh, it is Kate Winslet's birthday today, 1975, Titanic, Rose. Uh, happy birthday to KRTV Television in Great Falls. First broadcast on this date in 1958. So there you go. Uh, on this day brought to you by Mountain Nutrition. Check them out, 3222 Centennial Drive in Helena, and we love Mount Nutrition. I mean, it just the shakes are great. It, it's a, you get a, like a protein booster. You can get teas. You can get aloe shots. Uh, you can also get fat-reducing shakes. You have kids' teas as well. It's, uh, I just love it, and we're uh, so happy they're on board. So thanks to Mount Nutrition for everything they do. And again, tomorrow, the Galaxy Tea. Grape and blue raspberry. Yummy. 
We're almost at the end of the show. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk-off. The walk-off is presented by Cafe Zydeco, where the Big Easy meets the Big Sky. And at dinner there the other night, Catfish had to do it super good. And... Uh, Um, catfish is so good over there. The fried catfish with the with the uh, tater tots with the Cajun seasoning. Oh, oh! If you're looking to, for dinner tonight, there you go. Um, well, actually, not tonight, but do it tomorrow. How about that? Because they're only open for lunch on Mondays. But then Tuesday through Friday, eleven to eight. Saturday, nine to three. Cafe Zydeco in Helena. Um, also Butte and Bozeman. All right. Um, so on this date in 1877, Chief Joseph surrendered uh, just south of Haver, about 40 miles south of the Canadian border where they were, he was trying to lead his, his crew of Nez Perce, Nez Perce. Se. Um, his famous final quote, I am tired of fighting. Our chiefs are killed. Looking glass is dead. To Huhuzo is dead. The old men are all dead. It is the young men who say yes or no. He who led the young child, or young men, Alakot, is dead. It is cold and we have no blankets. The little children are freezing to death. My people, some of them, have run away to the hills and have no blankets, no food. No one knows where they are, perhaps freezing to death. I want to have time to look for my children and see how many of them I can find. Maybe I shall find them among the dead. Hear me, my chiefs, I am tired. My heart is sick and sad. From where the sun now stands, I will fight no more forever, end quote. Love Chief Joseph. I've been studying Chief Joseph since I was in fifth grade, and that was a speech, his famous speech. We had to memorize it one day, um, or I did, for a, a class in fifth grade, and Chief Joseph was amazing. If you ever get a chance to do some history on Chief Joseph, I highly recommend it. So... Um, Great weekend. We're going to have a fun week. We've got uh, Scott Evans coming up, Alex Eshelman coming up. Uh, Thursday, we'll talk to Dallas Remington, singer-songwriter. She's been on the show before. Friday off. Saturday, we'll be in uh, Dillon doing football for a Montana Western Southern Oregon game. So it's going to be a fun, good week. And uh, on this first full week of October 2021, yes, October is here. If you would like to uh, keep uh, be part of the show, uh, you can donate. Go to the donate page on jasonwalkershow.com. I appreciate that and uh, those who have so far. And uh, if you want to sponsor the show, get a hold of me as well. You can. You can tweet us anytime at Jaywalker Sports Facebook as well. And I don't know what, just our music. Where's our ending music? What? Something's going on with our board here. All right, we'll figure it out. Goodness. All right, yep. Going on, hardware advanced. Oh, no, nothing. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Uh, so there you go, Jason Walker show. I guess we can. Uh, can we we don't need music. We'll just say good night. If you miss anything, go to jasonwalkershow.com. We're back at it tomorrow at 4. Have yourself a fantastic Tuesday night. The Jason Walker Show is produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.